Yo guys, welcome to a new video and today we will watch the fourth episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi called Part 4. But first, we need to talk about Obi-Wan Kenobi. And yes, we need to talk because I am not the only one thinking that this series is a little bit underwhelming. It's still good and I still really like it, but there's something I am missing from this. And I definitely am not the only one saying that. And there are certain things that I really like about it, uh, especially the fight scene in the last episode. And just the way Obi-Wan Kenobi is broken throughout the entire series, that is really, really good. But there is something that I'm missing and I don't know why and I don't know exactly what it is. But it's just something that is bothering me with this series. I mean, it's still a really good series and I really like everything about it. But there's something that just doesn't add up to what we saw in the prequels. And I can say that I like the prequels a little bit more because of the character arc in that. And obviously we don't have the full story yet, but there's just something that doesn't make me entirely hyped for watching the next episode. It's just like, oh yeah, the fourth episode dropped, the third episode dropped. Huh? What, the third episode dropped? I thought it was on Fridays, but now it's on Wednesdays and I don't know. Obi-Wan Kenobi, I really like the character still, but something about the series, it's not what I was expecting. And it's not that I expected much from it because, well, I tend to not have high expectations in case, uh, especially not for these beloved characters because, well, you can get disappointed real fast if you expect high things. And I just let it come to me, but the first episode I thought was okay, the second one was okay, the third one was a little bit better, but still okay. And now it's like, it's all, it's 11 p.m. So the day is almost over. This episode, the fourth one has been online for like four, two, 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 14 hours. And I have seen a lot of things online from people that are complaining about the episode. People that are really angry over this episode that really don't like the series. I have seen that. This episode gets a total score from 6.7 or 6.6 .6 to 10 from this episode. And I see these episodes are getting shorter. This one is only 35 minutes long if you don't count the end credits with it. And yeah, that's really short and people are not liking it. I have seen a lot of screenshots on Facebook, on, uh, Facebook and YouTube talking about certain pieces of this episode, talking about how... It's not made any sense and stuff like that. So I am really scared for this series. I am really scared that maybe Disney and maybe Lucasfilms tried to make a series about Obi-Wan Kenobi because we all have a love for Obi-Wan Kenobi and we share a passion for the character. And I feel and I just see that the makers of this series... Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, Disney, they all share the same passion for Obi-Wan Kenobi. But I think maybe they rushed a little bit too hard on the story they wanted to tell. Not making the best story that you can have with a passionate character like this. And that's something I'm scared of. We are now in the four episodes. As and it looks like it's going to be bad. I am really open-eyed for this. I really think I'm going to enjoy the episode still because it's Obi-Wan Kenobi. I know what he's going to do because it has been alive for 14 hours. So I have seen a lot. So I know he's going to go to Fortress Inquisitorius. And I know Darth Vader is going to walk into a room and force smack Riva into the air. So yeah, I have seen some things and I know Obi-Wan will go completely ape shit against some stormtroopers but i think lucasfilm and disney made the series for those moments for to have obi-wan fight stormtroopers to have 
Obi-Wan fight Darth Vader again, to have Obi-Wan do this again and this again and this again because we love those things. But they maybe they forgot the story in between. And that's why I'm that's what I'm scared of with this series. Because it was really, really hopeful in the beginning. We're now in episode four. People don't like it. We only have two episodes left. They are going to have to do like a real 180. Or maybe just a 90 degrees turn, because maybe I am going to like this. I'm still very open-minded for this. I really hope it will be good, and I am all here for it. So let's watch it. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Episode 4, Part 4. Let's go. So Kant, Inquisitor is yours. Yay! All right, let's do it. I, it wasn't Seth Rogen, it was Zach Braff. Sad. I wanted it to be Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen is Star Wars. I would just think about it. He's going to be frank if Sephiroth wasn't Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> that was dark. I am what you made me. I am what you made me. Yeah, you did a lot of grunting in the last episode. Darth Vader whooped your ass. Yeah, Leia is running away, but it wouldn't be enough. Lucasfilm LTD. What does LTD stand for? I don't know. Lucasfilm LTD. Star Wars! It's getting worse and worse every every week. Oh my god, that was really off tune. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Did you know that the last eye is his lightsaber? Yeah, that must have hurt. Ben. Oh, hi. The back the tank. Everyone gets thrown into these Bacta tanks in Star Wars lately. Darth Vader, Obi-Wan, and Boba Fett. Everyone is going into Bacta tank. It's interesting to see him in it. Ouch. Wait, Bacta tank, isn't that reliving memories? Interesting, this. Where's Leia? Well, she's there. Fortress Inquisitorius. A princess of Alderaan. Oh, yes, you are. Obi-Wan is dead. No, he's not. Ah, oh, poor Leia. You've no idea what the Empire is capable of. Oh, they know. I think he knows. No, oh, that's sad. You want my help? You got it. Now it is he. That was easy. I like how strong-willed Obi-Wan is. It really works for him. But we're going to Fortress Inquisitorius! That's awesome. That's awesome. Where is the other? Oh, it's the Rebellion. How does she know? No, Leia, you're smarter than this. This is not gonna work. I mean, come on, it's Leia. I don't know anything about her past. Oh yeah! Come on, don't look so stressed. He was looking at her. Inform the Grand Inquisitor of your insolence. Oh yeah, this is the way. Oh no, that's Mandalorian. I'm here. All right, you go, girl. Oh, you come swimming in. Lol. Just imagine him swimming. Swimming by to winter. I would find that extremely funny. <laughs> Fucking stormtroopers. Cool. In the water. You could have also. Wasn't it smarter to just put on the stormtrooper clothes? Come on, Leia, you're stronger than this. You're not strong enough in the forest, Reaper. Lola, no! Oh. Oh, no, not Lola again. Don't break it. I like how you tried to kill her. Nice, Lola. They're talking way too much about her. Just about her, uh, about her past. I think she was the little Jedi in the very first scene. Uh-oh. 
No, she can't answer right now. <laughs> That's lucky. Seek a droid. <laughs> cool. Yeah, they definitely saw that foot. <laughs> They're talking about... It's a fun gimmick in Star Wars that Stormtroopers always talk about machines and droids and uh, ships. Oh, they heard that. Nice. Over there. Let's go. Good force use. Yeah, what for? Wait, but didn't she say Obi-Wan is gone? Obi-Wan is dead to Leia? I mean, Leia doesn't know it's Obi-Wan, right? Leia knows it's Ben. Because in, in, in New Hope too, she didn't react really that hard to... Wait. No, no. No, what, what did she... I'm sorry, I was in my mind. No, forget what I said. No, okay. I thought you said Ben. No, you won't. Indeed. Ow. No, it's a... It's a kid! Come on, it's a fucking kid. Hey, nice. Good job. Oh my god, man. She's still a kid. Obi-Wan can't hear. What the fuck is this? I saw a picture of this. Of, of this, but... I didn't understand what it was. Is it Jedi? It's a prison. Oh my god. It's a tomb. Tomb. I wanna know. Do I know him? I don't know. Shit, Lord. That is awful. Is oh my god. Then your choice is made. Riva, what the fuck? Oh my god. What is this for a horror show? A Padawan youngling! God! Alright, Obi-Wan, now it's your turn. Oh, Tala! No, this isn't smart. Uh-oh. You're gonna die, Tala! <laughs> oh, come on, give me a blue light somewhere. Yeah! Yes! That is awesome! <laughs> I like that. Sorry, I didn't like that. I loved that. That was incredibly smart. That was the best thing I've ever seen. It's gonna get you home. I hope you brought two breeders. You're a spy. Of course I am. Oh, what? I spent two years undercover. Try and find out where they were hidden. Oh, nice. You're a double spy. Uh-oh. Nope. 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 <laughs> Reva, you're so... untrusting. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh, shit. Come on, you can do this. Yay! You're better. Awesome! Oh yeah! All the ones spin! <laughs> oh wow, you're getting better fast. Is that a birch trooper? Oh wait, this is the same. This is like the same hallway where Cal Kestis discovered Vader, and Vader and they broke the glass. This is this. It's one of those places. I really like that. Yeah, it's the same place, so yeah, it's the same fortress. Oh, but it's nice that they made it entirely the same as as Jedi Fallen Order. Oh, no, you need to go. <laughs> I think Obi-Wan is gonna get captured. Come on, you can do this. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Exactly what Calcast is in Zero Dave. Put this up. 
<laughs> They're drowning. Fifth brother! <laughs> Just Leia holding on to her his leg as hard as he can. Nope. Oh, come on! Obi-Wan versus Reva? Give it to us. We deserve it. Oh, Rebels! All right! <laughs> nice. Oh, I know poor droids. Oh, Reva, you fucked up now, didn't, don't, didn't you? Who's that? Oh, that was the Rebels. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Wait. Nope, wait is dead. Four wait. Oh, if Vader finds out. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> you were born. What the feet would bring. Are you gonna die? No, you are not. Oh shit. What? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Didn't. I think you did. Where's the tracker? Oh shit. Where's the tracker? Where is it? Wait is gone. Where's Wait? Oh my god. Wait is dead. Wait is real cuckoos. Rail has gone. Oh, it's nice to see this. I'm sorry for a wait, but this is nice. <laughs> to see them reflect on their first real death empire, like... <sighs> Aww. How cute. They really do care a lot for each other. It's nice to see. Oh no, the tracker is on Lola! Oh no! That's awful. All right. 32 minutes. Jeez, that's that's a short episode. All right, I can kind of see why people hate this episode, but I personally liked it a lot. Uh, there were a lot of moments that I had a lot of fun with. It's not my favorite episode, but what, it was still good. I mean, there were a lot of fun, ep fun things. I mean, uh, just the escape in and all itself. Uh, um, <laughs> blackout. Wait, no. The two stormtroopers getting slaughtered in the dark. That was really cool. The beginning of the episode was okay. It's just I don't like Riva that much. They have written the character of Rita, Riva, not that good. And yes, I have seen the online things about her getting a lot of racism over her just being in fucking Star Wars. And that's really fucking saddening because why are Star Wars fans like that? It's so painful to watch. She does a fine job playing the character. She's really good at the character. It's just the Character in and of itself is not that good. And people tend to hate her for it. They do the same with Leia. They did the same with uh, the guy playing the young o Luke Skywalker. He was bullied into not ever acting at, acting anymore. Hayden Christensen gets it. It's, it's so fucking sad. And I really am sad to be part of a fandom that is like this. And that's awful. But I just want to say... I don't like Reva's character either, but it's not because of her, because see, she does a good job with what she gets. It's the others and the writing. It's all not that good. And the Inquisitors are just not that good. They ultimately always fail. And that's so painful to watch. And Darth Vader was getting true with the shit. And in the end, it was all good. And yeah. I liked the episode for what it was. It wasn't the most special episode. It felt like a Clone Wars episode. Kind of like that in Clone Wars. It's... Well, considering this with Clone Wars. And I mean, Clone Wars season 1 to 4. It's like that. It's good. 
but it's just nothing more than good. And I kind of see why people hate it, but I also don't because I still very much liked it. So given a 6.7, no, never. I will give this episode a 7 out of 10, if that matters. It was a good episode. And Obi-Wan Kenobi, it didn't... This episode didn't satisfy me enough to say Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to be the best show ever. It's going to be a great show. No, I do think it will be a fun show to revisit and maybe like more in the future. But hey, we still have two episodes left. I know it's not a lot. And I wished we had more than that. But I don't know. We have to see. We just don't know it yet. Thank you for watching. How did you like the episode? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm really excited to hear your opinion about it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.